Hi, I'm Brian. I'm a Pardot and Salesforce consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner that helps small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to talk about person accounts, what they are, and why you might want to use them. So the traditional data model in Salesforce is to have accounts and contacts, two separate records that are related to each other. An account in Salesforce is typically going to be a company, and a contact is going to be people within those companies. So it makes sense that that would be a data model for B2B sales, business to business sales. Now, you can also use that account and contact relationship for households. So maybe the account is a household and the contacts within that account are family members. Um, so that is a way that it could be used for a B2C or business to consumer relationship or sales process. Now, what a person account does is it blends the two. And so a person account is an option for a more traditional B2C uh, business process. So a person account takes the account record and the contact record and fuses them together, essentially. And so we've got contact fields like phone number, email address, what's your job title, age, birth date, those sorts of things. And then account fields. What's the billing address? Uh, what type of account is it? You know, prospect or customer or something else, former customer. Um, and so you've got these fields on these two different objects, contacts and accounts, but then they're all visible in one place. And that's what a person account does. It takes that contact and that account record and it glues them together. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at the account list or if you're looking at the contact list. Either way, if you see that person it's, and you click on it, it's gonna take you to one record, a singular view of that person. Because in this sort of business model, in this sales process, there really isn't a separate account and contact. It's the same thing. That person is the customer. Compare that to the, the B2B model where the person isn't necessarily the customer, it's the company that they're part of that's the customer. Um, and so another way to take a look at this is if we look at the schema builder, here we have the account object that's related to an opportunity object and also related to the contact object over here. And the thing that is really missing is the contact's relationship to the opportunity. So there's no direct contact opportunity relationship that we see here. It's intermediated by this other thing called an opportunity contact role. And so this is part of the reason why person accounts are necessary. Because some people will say, well, why don't we just get rid of the account? We'll just use contacts because all we care about is people. We don't need that account record. Well, in Salesforce, in order to have an opportunity, it must be related to an account. We can't have an opportunity here that's only related to a contact record. Um, because of that, we can't get rid of the accounts. If you want to sell anything, we need those accounts to be around. Um, and so the solution for a person account is a special record type that combines that account and contact together. So you can still have an opportunity that exists underneath that person account um, while not having the you know, overhead of trying to maintain an account record and a contact record if we're just talking about an individual person. So in summary, a person account is essentially bringing that account and contact record and gluing them together. So you have a singular view for that person. It's a great option if you're a B2C company, um, but it's not the only option, right? You also have household accounts as another approach in that use case. I hope that clears it up. If you found this helpful, please click like. If you'd like more videos about Salesforce and Pardot and automation, please hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.